Hi guys, I want to come to y'all with this unit that I hauled and I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I'm going to place my 3D art, my rhinestones and everything in this large photo and craft keeper that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It comes with individual containers and it also shelves them individually so that you won't have to move one to get to the other one. Um, it stands up like this when you're holding it, but when you're taking things out, you need to flip it. But it, that doesn't matter because none of your stuff is going to fall out. They're pretty flat, so um, they have a catch here that I like that if you do turn it upside down, it's not going to come out because it snaps in place. Okay? But I'm going to try when I do open this, I'm going to try it to where I can actually stand it up, stand, keep it stand up. And that's probably when I want to open it up, I will have it on a ledge when I open it up to where this, the um, bottom part right here actually is on the edge and this part is still standing up in the back. You see, you it has some like some little stands right here in the back for where it can stand up like this. But when you open it, it's it doesn't stand up on its own because they want you to put it flat and stand it up. But I'm going to try to um, find a way to where I can keep it standing when I open it. I probably can put something on the bottom of it so it won't um, wrap back. And that's what I'm going to do for this video while I show you. I'm going to stack these and then I'm going to show you how to put them in. I'm going to remove all these little container departments, put all my stuff in them, and then I'm going to put them all back up in here. So I won't have to keep fooling with this as I try to set it up. Okay? Okay, guys. I don't know how good this light is going to be because it is a glare and this is clear container. So hopefully y'all can see from top to bottom when I start doing it. I'm going to start with this first one. I got it sitting up to where uh, I'm propped up on something. So um, y'all actually can get a better view of this. Um, hopefully my camera does justice for y'all okay um like i said you just take it out it has the shelving in here right here to where it it sits there so you in order for you to move this one you don't have to move that top one it comes out without you having to move that okay so just bear in mind that this needs to be laying down when you take stuff out but I propped it up for video purposes. So, we're going to start with this one right here. And what you do, you just open it like that, like I said. And we're going to place some stuff in there. So, I'm going to move the camera. I will be moving the camera up and down so y'all can see me doing it from top to bottom. When I'm putting stuff in there and everything. So, bear with me with that as well. Now, you um, like I said... I'm going to put my 3D art in there, which comes with these little containers right here. Depends on what size you have. I have all different sizes. I have the small containers. I have the big containers. Close that up. Set that to the side and start on another one. And I'm just showing y'all everything that I can store up in this container. squeeze another one in there right there and that's that one okay the next thing that I can store in these containers are these little candy cane things 
You don't even have to keep them back all in a plastic container. You can just dump it out and just have them floating around in there. I have so much of that, guys. So much of those canteens. And also, um, you can even put the the containers in there. You know, if you want to leave them in a plastic container, you can leave them in a plastic container. I have so much of this stuff here. But in order to keep it flat, you might have to take them out of this. Because it's kind of bulky looking. So I want to fit that just right. So I don't mind taking them out of there. You can probably see them better, huh? And also, with these little things, you can save them all for one. You can just have all this just floating around in here. I have so much of this. Look, I got all this right here. That's how bad it is. Ah! So, I'll be keeping that up in there. I'm going to take this out of this box and I'll, I can just put all that stuff in there. I wouldn't mind cutting all these up and just putting them in the little third box. And I'll probably do that in the future, but not right now. That is way too much now. You can even put the little little blade in there. Probably need two of these things, huh? <laughs> but let's see if it closes. Oh, it closes this side. That's all of my. That's all of them. Let me just go ahead and put my little blades in here, face down. somewhere in there face down so nobody won't if I won't cut myself once I open this thing okay wow that is done okay for as these you can put these in a separate container or if it fits in there it might fit in there it fits that is done. Yay. Okay. The next one, what else you can put in here? Let's say we can put rhinestones in here. I have like chains and stuff. All kind of stuff like that. Um, these like this, the water transfers, these like this, put in there, and then just put those in there, however much you can fit in, in them. Stack it up in there and it closes. So you can put that in there.
Okay, pigments. It's so many containers here. It's 18 containers up in this thing. Okay, rhinestones. Like I said, you can put the little wheels in here. Like I said, you can put the wheels. Rhinestone wheels. Uh-oh. Got some fell out of there. Know how many wheels you can put in there, but hey, we'll do small ones to big ones. I'll do small ones and all big ones in the other one. Stuff that I actually use, and this is how you can declutter too. See what you got and see what you don't need. There it goes. Okay, that's another one. Huh. <sighs> okay, I got one more to that side, y'all. I'm just gonna finish those these up. What I can fit up in there, what I can't fit up in there. Okay, so that side is all done. Hopefully that worked. Now you see the little shelving right here. So however you want to put them back in there, you can put them back in there. And I'm going to just start stacking them however they go. Oh, this is going to be a hot mess film. Usually, okay. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to get my label. And I'm going to label. label what's in the container so the the metal metal 3d art um water decals however you want to do it however you want to organize this and that is it so i just want to show y'all that and what you can store in them And I'm going to do the other side. And I probably would put, let's see, let's see, what else can I put in these things? It's so much little art you can put in them.
just showing everything that you actually can possibly save in these things. Um, foils. I know foils. Glitter pigments. I mean, pigments. But I will go ahead and put what you already mixed in there. Not just your pigments. See, these are not even mixed yet. It's just pure pigments. I would already put my mixes in these. The ones that I can just go to, ready to use. And you know what? I might just keep this one right here for my 3D art, my glitters, my spangles, and and that, and get the other one. And I will have, I will get that one for just my, um, my pigments and stuff. And leave this one right here for my 3D art, my candy canes, my rhinestones, and everything. Just keep it separate and have one for my powders and my glitter powders and my acrylic powders and pigments and stuff like that. I'm going to get that other one, y'all. Because I only have two more of these. And I know <laughs> my pigments not going to, um, all my pigments not going to work in there. So, I'm just going to find other little stuff that I can put in these. And I do have stuff to fill that up, trust and believe. But... Just want to show y'all a little bit of something about this this little this thing. Oh, your molds. Oh, you can put your molds in there. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. My molds. All these molds I got. You can put those in there. Uh, you can be neat about it if you want to be neat about it, but. That's that. I got one container left, guys. What am I going to put in it? Huh. I did say falls, right? So I can put my fall leaves in this last container. I still have so much stuff. I wind up having three of these doggone things. That's ridiculous. Huh? We know we can gather up some stuff. But yeah. I do have more foil. But they are in containers. And I'm not sure if I want to take them out of the container. Which I really can. Because these little things here. Let's start working me over. And actually... Probably can just set them up like that. Or I probably can stand them up like that. Hmm. See? You're mine, you're mine. So you can just stand them up like that in here. Which I think probably better. And it keeps the name on the thing, too. I bet you y'all were saying the same thing. Lay them down, lay them down. <gasps> Don't take them out. That's going to be a mess. And you can just lay them down like that. And I got a whole lot of falls. See how that's going to work. And if not less, because if I want to put them all in there, I'm going to wind up taking them out of there. Because uh, that is too many in these little bottles to be using up these little thing and I can put them all in there stack them up correctly so that's what I think I'm going to do I'm going to take them out these bottles and um, the only thing some of them don't have names on them but hey we all know where to buy balls from And I'm thinking about just rolling them up kind of tight and standing them up in here. You know? And that's how I'm going to do that. Alright guys, after I finish doing this, I'm going to um, 
show y'all the end results, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, guys, they are all in the container. I tell you, that was not, it's not, it wasn't too bad. So, I got all my rhinestones in there, all my 3D art, everything in there. Yeah, it's kind of cloudy. So, I got it closed, and this is how it looked closed. Standing up, upright, closed. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this was helpful on how to store your your goodies, as we call it. Um, once again, this is the name of it. I think it's the Irish Photo, Large Photo Craft Keeper. And that's the website, again, if the Hobby Lobby does not have them. So, they'll tell you where you can buy them. And that is pretty much it. Can you imagine making a, a, a very, very, very tall one like this? Double stack. I mean tall like a cabinet. Now, I would buy something like that too. But for now, this will work. Until next time, guys. Y'all have a smiley day. Bye.